Today's series of Doplex Scale interviews we have with us Dr. Shri Ganesh. He's a chairperson, managing director, and medical director of Netra Dharma Super Speciality Eye Hospital in Bangalore. He has received the best FACO and refractive surgery award for the year 2006 from Indian Intraocular Implant and Refractive Society. He has also received from the Scientific Committee of Indian Intraocular Implant and Refractive Society have honored him with. IIRSI Gold Medal. He has received the Gold Medal Oriation Award by Australian Society of Cataract and Refractive Surgery in AIOC 2018. Thank you for the interview, Doctor. Uh, so let's begin with our first question. What are the latest advances in SMILE and can you please uh, tell us your contributions for the same? I started refractive surgery in 1995 and uh, 1997 I started doing LASIK and uh, we have seen a lot of advancements where we have moved from a blade LASIK to a bladeless LASIK, the femtosecond technology. And for the past six years now, I have been doing a technique called SMILE. SMILE is an all femto, single step, flapless, bladeless, painless procedure, which is very comfortable for the patient. In this procedure, a lenticule of tissue is carved inside the cornea and through a micro incision of two millimeters, this lenticule is removed to correct the power. So the for the patient, it's very comfortable. The procedure itself takes like a couple of minutes and uh, there's absolutely no pain either during the procedure or after the procedure. Because there's no flap, there's minimal restrictions. And uh, the next day onwards, they can go back to all the normal activities, including sports or uh, their work. And uh, the post-op restrictions are minimal. So these are some of the advances uh, right now and in SMILE also I have developed a lot of techniques, uh, new instrumentation, uh, we have the um, uh, Ganesh uh, self-guiding uh, dissector for SMILE because once the lenticule is carved out by the laser then the surgeon has to dissect it, find the planes, dissect it and remove the lenticule. I have made an instrument which is very easy to find the planes, dissect the lenticule and remove it. I have also de developed a technique called uh, no dissection SMILE or lenticulosciasis, where you just use a forceps to enter the small incision and then you can just peel off the lenticule in one go and uh, this makes the procedure quite simple and easy uh, and much faster. Also uh, a thing to note is the, the Visumax uh, laser on which the smile uh, is done does not have an eye tracker. So normally most of the eczema lasers today have an eye tracker uh, so that they track the eye movements and typically we know that uh, patient sitting up and lying down, there is some rotation of the eye and this causes uh, what is known as a cyclotorsion uh, and it, if this is not comp compensated then correction of cylindrical powers or astigmatism is difficult. So we have devised a technique where we actually mark the cornea preoperatively and when the patient lies down and once we aplanate and dock on the interface then we'll, we can actually look at the amount of rotation and then compensate for it so that you get very accurate uh, results uh, in SMILE even for cylindrical powers and this is something that we recently published in the Journal of Refractive Surgery. So moving on to the next question, uh, what is press bion and can you please elaborate on this technique? Yeah. Press bion is a laser refractive correction for treating presbyopia. Presbyopia is a condition which affects people after 40 years even though your vision is perfect after 40 years, you find it difficult to read small print and you have to keep the um, uh, reading material away or you have to have uh, better light to read. And this affects most of the population, 80% of the population between 40 to 50 years. And uh, as of now, there were, not, there were no uh, good techniques to correct this procedure. Four years ago, we got the MEL90 from Carl Zeiss, uh, which is the la latest eczema laser. And this has a software known as Presbyon and this software is used for correcting presbyopia. And we have been uh, treating patients from four years and we find that the results are quite good. This uh, basically depends on two principles. The, the technique depends on two principles. One is induction of spherical abrasion to increase the depth of uh, field or depth of focus. So you get an increased depth of focus and a range of vision. 
and this is combined with a micro mono vision where we, we make the non-dominant eye a little myopic. So they have a full range of distance with both eyes open for distance intermediate and near. And uh, we are find, uh, finding that uh, the results are excellent. In fact, I myself underwent the procedure two years ago. And I, I don't wear glasses. I used to wear reading glasses. I had perfect vision. And at 45, I developed presbyopia and I had difficulty reading, looking at computer screens. Yeah. And then I decided to undergo this uh, procedure because uh, what is good for you is good for the patients. Yes. Right. So I have full confidence in this procedure. I underwent that. And now I have uh, perfect vision for distance and reading. I drive at night. In fact, the next day after the procedure, I was back doing my surgeries. So the recovery also is very fast. Thank you so much for the interview. It was a pleasure you. having you. It was a pleasure. Thank, Thank you. you.